Yo, what's up guys? In this video, I want to show you how to push the limits when it comes to building a project for your portfolio or not necessarily for your portfolio because you know I'm not the fan of like having a portfolio because if you have a portfolio, you are categorized as a junior and nobody wants to hire juniors, right? But you still have to learn the skills somehow. So whenever I say portfolio, I'm actually saying the apps that you have to build to learn the skills, right? And then here, what I have is a basic to-do app. We've been talking about to-do apps and you know it's important to learn, but it's not a good idea to put it in your portfolio, okay? For the reasons that we just mentioned. But I wanna show you how to take every single idea, every single app that you have, you know, put on display by an influencer, how to take it to the next level. I wanna show you how I think about squeezing the hell out of every single project so that my students and you can gain the most amount of information and knowledge and skill and experience, okay? So let's get started. So what we have here is a to-do app and in my program, we are building two to-do apps, one with basic JavaScript, with plain JavaScript and one with React. And as you can see, the completion time is estimated to around 30 days, okay? Because you have to learn React and you actually have to put your knowledge into practice, okay? And then here I have some basic requirements and probably you are familiar with this as well. So the basic requirement is to add items, remove items, toggle items from done to undone. You should allow sorting based on priority so you can put some sort of drop down that allows you to choose a number between zero and 10, okay? And then you should have three sorting options. The default, meaning the way you've put it in the list, if that makes sense. Then you have ascending and descending. So you should have some sort of button that allows you to sort, okay? That teaches you how to sort, all right? Then it should allow you to change the value of the to-do text, okay? So you write down buy milk, let's say, then you click on the item and then you, sh you, sh you say buy chocolate milk, right? So you update the value. And then you should also save that list in local storage so the data gets persisted. So then next time when you open the app, you don't need to type in tasks all the time. You wanna be able to see whatever you typed last time. So this app actually becomes usable, right? So nothing fancy here, nothing crazy, all right? These are the basic requirements. And this is where everyone stops. And today I started revamping the, the roadmap that I have for my students, I kept adding extra things that they can add to every single app. So there are like 20 apps. And then I spent some time with this to-do app in React because it's very important to practice the skills that I'm gonna, about, that I'm gonna show you in this uh, video right now. Okay, so the extras are this. Add a complexity parameter that goes from zero to 10, all right? So besides the fact that we have priority, we also have complexity. So how difficult is the task? The, the task? And then we can sort the list based on those uh, three options, default, ascending, and descending, like we had with the sorting. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I want you to do the same thing twice or three times, right? Do it multiple times so you actually understand how it works, right? The only way to build muscle memory is by doing the same thing multiple times until it becomes natural, okay? So we wanna practice the same thing from a slightly different angle so you can actually understand it, okay? Now, for the real ones, for the real Gs out there, we have a few more tasks. Can use the power mode feature which adds up the complexity and priority values together, okay? So we're gonna have complexity one and priority 10, adds them up together, so then we have 11, and then it sorts the list from highest to lowest, right? So the things that are the most complex and have the highest priority will go on top. So for example, complex, a complex thing could be learning React and the priority is 10, right? The complexity is 10, priority is 10. So that task is all the way up. But then you have, let's say, eating, complexity is zero and priority is five that will go underneath, right? And then when power mode is enabled, we should have some sort of button. When power mode is enabled, only the first task that is not completed shows up in the middle of the screen, right? It makes you think, how can I sort the, the list? How can I show just the first item, 
right? And then you should have checklist inside each task. So imagine you have a bunch of tasks like I have here, right? Let's assume this whole thing is a to-do app. So imagine this is a to-do app, right? And then inside I have checklists, right? So that's the same idea here, checklist. So you can add smaller items within each item. And then it should show a progress bar that shows the percentage of the completed tasks. So if you have five tasks inside an item, you should show a progress bar. And then if you completed two tasks, then you should show a percentage bar that goes up to 40%, okay? That's how the math works there. Um, should allow the user to choose a due date. Very explanatory. You should have some sort of calendar that allows you to choose the due date. You can also add the time of the due date as well. That's an extra feature. And should allow the user to filter the task based on the due date using the three options, default, ascending, and descending. Same thing, right? Sorting, a different perspective on the same thing. If the due date is less than three days, should show an orange label that shows some sort of warning, right? If the due date is today, then it should show a red label. Hope it makes sense. And then you should be able to add tags labeled to each items, right? So if you have multiple items and then one item is for some stuff for the gym, one is for work and one is for learning, right? You wanna filter out your items and see only the tasks that you are interested in. So for example, right now, I only wanna see tasks that are relevant for my learning. So like learning React, applying for a free consultation call, all this stuff. So you tick them off, okay? And then you can see them individually, right? And then at the end, we have some sort of reflection. What did you learn from this project? It's good to sit down sometimes and just think, hey, what did I just learn, right? You don't wanna be like a zombie going through life. You always wanna think about, hey, what did I learn from this thing, right? What can I do better next time? What did I mess up? Obviously, if you don't have a mentor, if you don't have co-reviews, you have to pretty much rely on yourself to know that you've done the right thing, but also it's good to think about what can you do better next time? Did you go the extra mile, all right? Besides this stuff, you can also add more things, more ideas. Time invested into going the extra mile, it's always going to pay dividends, okay? Nobody goes the extra mile. I'm pretty sure you are not going the extra mile. You just wanna do the bare minimum and expecting the most out of it. It doesn't work like that. Life doesn't work like that. You have to do more than everyone else in order to get more than everyone else. 1% mentality, 99% mentality. You have to do more, right? So if you like this video, trust me, there are like 20 apps like this that you have to build. And I might release this roadmap when I'm done with it. Right now I'm dealing with the designer, so I'm gonna have designs done for everything. So far we only have designs for the last app, which is the most important one, but we will get designs done for everything. So then, my students and hopefully you will be having an absolute killer advantage over every single self-taught developer, bootcamp grad. Like there will be no competition, right? This is me going the extra mile for my students and hopefully for you as well. Just uh, if you wanna benefit from all those things, you have to apply for a free consultation call. I know the spaces were quite low in the past month. Everyone kind of messaged me like, hey, we don't have spaces and whatnot is because I was really busy with stuff, but now I have like one or two spots open. So go ahead right now, book your time with me. Let's speak. This is for you if you wanna become a front-end developer or a full-stack developer, you want to work remotely, you wanna make more money, you wanna change your life dramatically in the fastest time frame possible, okay? No more messing around, no more playing around. Let's get this thing done, all right? See ya.